Hello and welcome to Uroro Niwa. My name is Mike Charlton. Hi, it's been almost a year, really almost a year, I think, because I remember doing a video in Setsubun, which is in February, and uh, now it's January, so it's been almost a year since I've done a video. And you may be excused for thinking um, that I'm never going to do another one again, but uh, actually I am, and uh, that's what uh, today is all about, just to talk a bit about uh, what's been going on, why there haven't been any videos, and what we're going to do in the near future. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Um, what you're seeing on the screen is uh, not Dwarf Fortress, of course, but this is actually called uh, Tales of Magel, and um, you can see in the up upper left-hand corner here, um, that's the name of it. Uh, so we're just going to play this game, and um, actually I played the game previously. I, I recorded myself while I was playing the game and actually it was too difficult. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So I've, I'm re-recording um, from the game. So you're just seeing the uh, kind of playthrough I did earlier. Uh, I'm not going to describe the game at all other than to say this is a really, really great game. You can get it on Steam for a ridiculously low amount of money or you can just download it for free from the um, from the the website. I'll give a link um, otherwise and um, yeah, this is a great game. I mean, I mean, it's a really, really fantastic game, and it's one of the influences of the game that I, I want to write. So um, yeah, give it a try, and um, and definitely give some money to the um, author as well. It, this is all free software. It's under the GPL, and uh, you can you can um, uh, modify the game. You can get the source code, or you can do whatever you want. You can redistribute it. Um, it's, um, it's really good, and uh, so I highly recommend. Um, and it's really fun to play. I wasted... I wasted hundreds of hours, a hundred thousands probably of hours. Um, so it's on same for me, same kind of level as Dwarf Fortress. But um, um, having said that, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what has happened in the past year and what's going to happen in the next year, hopefully. Um, so I had a bit of a hard time last year. Um, and um, it, it's, it was kind of unfortunate because I, I, I have a bit of a health problem and I don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of boring and personal and um, it's not really that interesting. But um, uh, the problem ended up happening that I had, um, I, had, um, I had to take medicine for this. And it's the first time I've had kind of a chronic illness where I've had to take medicine. Um, and um, it turned out that there were side effects of that medicine. So um, with the um, side effects, I really couldn't um, concentrate. I, I was really having a hard, hard time. And the problem was I didn't realize that it was the side effects of the medicine that were causing the problem. I thought it was the illness that I had. And in fact, my, my doctor as well thought it was the illness, not the medicine that was causing the problem. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a life tip if you're interested in life tips. And that is if you have um, some kind of illness where you need some medicine, um, drug companies, it turns out, uh, are have different requirements depending on what country they operate in. And so in terms of what they, they sort of disclose uh, in terms of dangers and and side effects and that kind of stuff. It really depends on the country that you're in, and they'll, they'll actually disclose different things in different countries. And I didn't, I didn't realize this at all. And so, um, for uh, my condition, the the medicine that I had had some pretty serious side effects that only affect a very small number of people. To be fair, like one or two percent, something like that. Um, but they're pretty severe side effects, and uh, it happened that I was in that one or two percent. And um, so I had these really bad side effects, and um, um, it, I had to go for hundreds of tests. Like, like my doctor was was worried that basically I was dying, and uh, couldn't figure out what was wrong because every all the tests would come back and everything was fine, and just couldn't figure out what was going on. And he would look at the medicine, and say, "Well, this the medicine shouldn't be causing these problems. It's got to be something else." You know, it, it's like it appeared to be, you know, major, major. Uh, organ failure and things like this, and it just couldn't figure out what was going on. So in the end, it was it just happened to be the medicine. And um, uh, once we once we figured that out, um, 
I could get on new medicine and everything was fine again. But, you know, my, my doctor was super surprised, as was I. Um, and um, so if you ever go on medicine, it pays to do some Googling around and um, get as much information as you can about the medicine that you're taking. I, I kind of failed to do that, which was unfortunate. Um, could have saved myself a fair amount of uh, hassle, but uh, in the end, everything was good, so I'm not too unhappy. Um, but at the same time, actually, which was kind of unfortunate, I ended up, um, my job uh, was actually really, uh, went in kind of a really difficult uh, time. We had we had a bit, a bit of an aggressive deadline that we needed to hit, and we did a bit of a, a reorg in our group. And um, I, I think, you know, if looking back on it, it didn't really work out the way we kind of hoped it, it would have. And in the end, we actually did, I think we did a good job of the code, and the, the code was pretty good. Uh, but probably we, <laughs> we spent a little bit more effort than we, uh, than we needed to. Um, and um, so the, um, so I ended up doing a fair amount of overtime. Um, I, I tend to do a lot of overtime anyway because I really like my job and I really like the people I work with. Um, so it's kind of, um, for me, um, an outlet uh, to kind of be with other people and to, and to have a good time. So um, it's kind of a bad habit because sometimes I do too much work and then end up doing undertime for a while. Like actually today I'm doing this video and it's getting pretty late. So I'm wondering whether I'm going to get my whole day of, uh, of work in. Um, but um, generally speaking, I do quite a lot of overtime. So it kind of balances out. But it's better not to do it. My, my boss is actually very much, very much on the side of don't, don't do overwork. Um, <laughs> um, just, you know, pace yourself and, and make sure that you can, uh, that you can do a good job every day. Uh, I totally agree with that philosophy. Um, but, um, you know, having said that, you know, it's a great, it's a great job. I really enjoy it. Um, um, but to be honest, I'd really rather, um, a lot of times I'd, I'd rather be doing, I'd, I'd like to work on my own projects, obviously. I mean, as a programmer, you're always in that situation where you're always, you know, kind of, you have, um, I don't know how to put it, but it, it's just like you're kind of constrained by the group that you're working in. And I have a great, I, especially right now, my team is fantastic. And they let me do all sorts of crazy things. Um, but, um, you know, working on your own project is something that's that's quite different. And I, I really like working on my own projects and it's fun. So for me, having a priority where my more my projects are, are very high priority is, is, is quite important for me. And so taking taking kind of a year off and just concentrating on work was, was probably not the best thing for me to do. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, but it, you know, at the time it was necessary because I just didn't have the capacity to uh, to do both. And since I get paid <laughs> for my work, uh, I concentrated on work. Um, and so I apologize to you who are waiting for the videos um, uh, for that. But um, yeah, coming up, uh, we're going to be doing new things. And so I'll, I'll just get on to what we're going to do now. Um, we. Um, we're in the middle of uh, trying to find some prestige papers, and we will find some prestige papers. I guarantee it. Um, I have some video already done, and I'm, I'm actually most of the way editing it. Um, so we'll get that as soon as I can. And um, also Elm Beans, we're going to continue on with Elm Beans. Um, although I think probably we will have slightly different format uh, for Elm Beans. Um, uh, because I, at the time I was thinking it'd be, it'd be fun because probably people aren't um, but would like to see how how you learn how to program, how you learn new things and that kind of stuff. But I really found and as, and the kind of feedback I got um, reinforced this that it was a bit unfocused and and me kind of faffing around trying to figure out what I'm doing. It wasn't that entertaining to be honest. So I'd rather have something more focused, more more you know. Um, about programming and and uh, showing you what to do rather than trying to kind of search around figuring out how to do something. 
So I'm going to try and change the format a little bit. I'm also going to try and do shorter episodes with less editing. And actually, this is a this is a major theme, um, and one of the reasons why I'm um, showing you this video like this is instead of doing two hours of of editing, I'm hoping to try and give you um, kind of you know, kind of off the cuff performance, really, so we, without much editing or even any editing. Um, because I, I think people would rather see content than they would, even if it's flawed, than they would wait for, you know, a year for the next episode. And and that's just the reality. I don't have time to edit it. And honestly, the YouTube side, side of what I'm doing is kind of like a side project for me. I really enjoy it, but... Um, it's it's a way of inviting people into my world, and I but I really want to get into writing the game, and I want to invite people into that world of the game writing, um, and um, you know, in designing the game and and looking at different aspects of games of of kind of design of games and things like that, and that's really what I want to get into. Playing the game and doing videos is also really fun, but um, not the highest priority for me. So I think I'm going to have to let go of the editing a little bit just so to get more more content out the door. I'm also going to try and do things much more regular basis. And I, I think, you know, working every day, for instance, for a short period of time is much, much better for me than trying to do something once a week or something like that. But I'm really, really sucking at this game at the moment, you'll see there. And part of it is because I don't have um, my keyboard set up properly. Um, and also, I haven't played the game for a long time. But I, I don't die. That's the one thing. Is can see I'm kind of escorting this guy around now he's pretty powerful so it's kind of helped out quite a bit um, so in terms of the in terms of the uh, dwarf fortress stuff um, I'm, we're gonna finish off um, the adventure mode and I'm gonna try and finish off pretty quickly actually uh, because I want to get into fortress mode and I've got I've updated to the next version um, so there's bugs in the next version but I don't think there's really any bugs currently in the stuff that I want to show. So I think we're good to go with that. So I will start uh, probably unfortunately in New World because I want to start a new save um, to get the new features. And um, yeah, that's uh, so that should be coming up soon. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. I, I'm not going to try and do too much else. I'm just going to concentrate on those two things for now um, and just try and get a steady stream of uh, content out the door and also get straight into I want to get Elm Beans done. That, that's a really high priority for me. I want to get Elm Beans done because I want to get into actually writing a more complex game and um, kind of sharing that process. I'm still not quite sure exactly how that's going to work out how I'm going to share share that process with people, whether it's through videos or whether it's through other means, I'm not quite sure. But um, that's uh, that's about it. Um, so I've got a couple of minutes left in this video. Um, I think I, I'm going to try and cap it at about 15 minutes here, and we're getting pretty close there. Uh, pretty soon I actually go up against the boss on this level, so I'll show, let you see going up against the boss. Um, and maybe just talk a little bit about Magiel since I've got a couple of minutes. Um, th this is actually a really interesting game. Like I said, it's a it's free software, so all the code is free, and it has downloadable content. Um, so if you pay extra money, you can get more more content. But that also seems to have a, a GPL license on it, so you can see all source code for that. Um, theoretically, you could distribute it, but I think that would be pretty nasty to the developer, and I don't think that's actually what he wants. Um, so uh, don't do that. Um, but um, it's very nice that, um, you know, this kind of free software approach, um, even though he makes a reasonable amount of money, I don't think he can make a living off of it, but he makes a reasonable amount of money. And uh, um, it's one of the things that kind of inspired me to think, oh, this is actually a good idea to try and, uh, you know, make a game, a free software game. And and maybe later in my in my life, I'll be able to... Uh, to uh, to make some money off it. If people get some value um, out of it, then um, oh, by the way, this is the this is the boss. So I think his name is Nor Norgos, Norgos or something. Um, he's a big bear, but he's blinding me repeatedly here, which is really frustrating. Um, it's it's 
it you know same thing with uh, Dwarf Fortress you know where, where although it's not free software and other we can't see the source code or anything, but um, he he makes a living doing doing that work and I, I think that's really fantastic and I, I think you know if for instance like ten years down the road I could do something like that that would just be fantastic for me. But anyway, this is uh, this is I've run out of time because because I've actually beat the boss here, and um, um, so. I'm hoping to get a new video out. Um, expect it to come out relatively soon, uh, within the next couple of days. And uh, until then, um, I, I hope you'll have some fun, and I will see you next time.